hello everyone welcome again to another video from investing with the difference so today i'm back with a lot of updates on eos and uh, we are going to talk about some great things and also we are going to show you some of the important things you need to worry about in terms of voting and we will do some analysis uh, on that as well so first of all let's start with the good news and uh, first of all i wanted to highlight that uh, there is some great progress happening on the ecosystem build up and what i'm really excited about is this uh, udemy which is a big website where a lot of people learn they take courses uh, now there is a course available for programming on eos and uh, this is learning blockchain development with eos you know, on udemy and as you know right now udemy has a back to scale school sale going on so this is only for ten dollars you can learn about eos programming and developing on top of eos blockchain so this is great. I think we need more and more of such content. We also heard about a uh, DevCon, which is uh, being uh, hosted uh, early next year. And uh, that is also a great sign. I think a lot of good stuff in terms of development and uh, developing ecosystem for EOS in terms of uh, bringing more and more developers on board. And we really like this. I hope that more and more people participate in these kind of things and uh, make it uh, better. Uh, so what else is going on so one thing i wanted to highlight to you is uh, this tribe is uh, another social media or kind of a news network for eos and uh, this is a good uh, platform because right now they are focusing on eos and you see a lot of uh, eos related news uh, what is important is this is a blockchain based system where you can earn tokens by participating uh, in the network by joining this uh, website uh, so right now we will post a link below in the video for you to join if you're interested with our referral link and uh, you can earn a bonus 100 tokens right now if you do that so they are going to do an airdrop it's a eos based uh, system where they are developing a contribution based economy where you can contribute or even if when you read articles or you log into the website uh, they give you extra tokens so uh, more importantly i think right now they are covering a lot of news on eos and uh, you should definitely subscribe to this um, so it's becoming a kind of a single source uh, i see that a lot of people are quoting tribe now um, so it's kind of a uh, very similar to like what you steam it had where people were blogging about various cryptocurrencies as uh, and it became popular and not just cryptos i think they steam it became popular for many other reasons uh, but i think tribe is trying to achieve the same for eos uh, now another big news is uh, this is the game which is launched which is uh, eos knights and i think uh, right now so we started this game so i just wanted to show you how it works um, i'm very excited about this because these are the kind of apps which will really make eos usable on the network so this is a game which is actually the whole economy of the game is based on eos ma main net and uh, so what is happening here is you can buy some knights who are fighting against goblins and uh, you can you earn by playing this when you you press rebirth that is uh, whenever you you lose all your health um, uh, based on how well you did you earn certain rewards those rewards are these kind of goodies which allow you to buy some good stuff like some upgrades to your uh, uh, knights so this is very similar to any typical games which are mobile games which are available why i'm excited about it is because it's a pretty good full form game which can get people hooked on it is uh, uh, we are already playing it as you can see we like the way it is developed second thing is they have developed it in a phone format if you see here they have even in the web they're running it in a phone format so their goal is to get it working on mobile phones and uh, so they are saying it available soon so i think the biggest concern right now is uh, we don't see any plugins or any login to eos blockchain on the phones so as you know that on the web on the chrome browser you have scatter plugin which allows you to log in and uh, use your eos account i believe that uh, that once that comes up i'm sure more and more mobile games will come in so that's something you need to wait for um, but I think overall it's a great progress. I think we need more and more such uh, games or utilities which can make uh, people really use EOS mainnet and get engaged. So this is a great progress. I think we are seeing more and more apps coming in which is a good sign. Now a lot of people had asked us about uh, how to change your permissions for your active and uh, owner keys. So uh, one of our good friends Colin 
talks crypto he does a lot of youtube videos i'm sure a lot of you are watching he does a lot of eos based videos he did a very good video on uh, how to change your active keys and uh, we like it because he has got done a very good uh, tutorial on this using gremas as you know that uh, the latest version of gremas wallet allows this but we have one warning for people who still don't have a good way of protecting their keys while you can do this remember that if you do it you will have to maintain two private keys one is the owner key and the active key and you need to really understand what they mean before you go ahead and uh, try anything like that so while it's a good tutorial i think people who are already understood how they are going to use active keys um, please go ahead and do this especially it is good like for example if you have a lot of tokens in your account and uh, you are trying to do something like uh, EOS Nights and if you want to play and you're logging in with Scatter and many people are scared of using Scatter um, because you are actually interfacing with a web browser not many people are comfortable entering their private keys on web browser so actually if you want to do that then I would suggest that you should definitely learn to change your active keys because Graymas is a very very so safe tool and if you can change your keys like the active keys you can use scatter to only you uh, with active keys so even if you have a problem with active keys you can always go back and change them uh, if you lose them and you can only unstake a few tokens you don't need to unstake anything if you are uh, uh, playing any of these games or if you are participating in the d apps um, so you need to understand that a three day unstaking period keeps you safe and uh, it's a good way of doing that and you can do it using grema's wallet uh, and that's what is uh, good about this video uh, we can also do that again but many people had asked us but i think uh, colin did a good job of it so we just wanted to highlight this video uh, to help you if you are interested so but i think again as i said i keep warning you that uh, if you do it you should really understand how to keep both of your keys secure while owner key is the most important because that will have all the permissions to change the active key in case you lose them but it also means that you need, you need to be very careful because more complicated your key system becomes most of the simple investors what they do is they start noting it down somewhere because they don't want to forget which key is which and the more you write down more you document that becomes your risk factor because people can steal that information uh, so make sure you know how you're going to store it till the uh, till the hardware wallets come in till more secure ways of keeping keys uh, are available for yours so do not do not be in a hurry while it's a great feature of eos where you can avoid uh, hackers to steal your eos but you need to understand that while doing that it is your responsibility to keep your keys safe so now finally i wanted to focus on voting aspects so let's look at the block producers rankings and as you can see some of these uh, block producers on the top now they are again the exchange and the whale supported block producers like Z zb has come on top uh, eos hobi has come on top so eos fish rocks i don't know exactly where they belong uh, but i think a lot of them a lot of changes have happened in recent recently i think voting is changing so we have been highlighting for quite some time that uh, there's a big vote decay which is happening so if you see here for this is our investing with the difference proxy account and we are seeing 26,000 votes which have decayed and uh, this is something we want you to keep remind we want to keep reminding you that you need to keep updating your uh, proxies and why we are highlighting that is uh, because uh, we need to understand that these block producers so let's look at the top block producers are on the EOS Aloha page. So ZB, for example, if you click on that, so this is the block pro producer research tool. You see that they have not even updated their ownership. They have not updated their code of conduct, which is not a great sign for a block producer, which is in number two on the list. Huobi, which is again an exchange uh, based block producer. They have not shared any details about their ownership or the code of conduct. Another reason we worry about them is if you see between zb and huobi you see their pattern is very similar they have same accounts voting for them and uh, so this means that uh, this these people are getting voted by whales who are mainly in it for profit they must have some stake in both of these block producers and this is the kind of thing which is against the basic constitution i think uh, 
the key thing here was because we don't know the owners of those uh, block producers um, you cannot run one, more than one node that was one of the conditions uh, of EOS and it looks like uh, there may be some conflict of interest here if uh, the same people are vest have vested interest in these so anyway I think we just keep highlighting these um, a lot of the another other reason is that a lot of good block producers which should be in top 21 they are not so for example EOS fly to Mars we always debate about them um, they are again a block producer which has very limited votes but they are whale votes and that's why they are in top so if you look at number of votes that means how many people have voted for them uh, you there are obvious ones which get a lot of vote from wider community like EOS New York like EOS Canada and you see EOS Authority which is always on the top you know, in terms of uh, how many people vote for them because they have been helping a lot of people EOS DAC which is 12,000 votes but still they are not in top 21 uh, you see that uh, there are a lot of other like EOS Cafe Caligari which is 9000 votes which is big but they are still in only number 37 and a lot of other good candidates here uh, uh, you know that Gian Rios he, they are doing a lot of toolkits then you know EOS Nation which is doing a lot of community work uh, and they are still not in top 21 so this is a concern for us and uh, I think we as a proxy we want to make a difference and what we see here is that uh, more and more Vote, votes are getting decayed and that's something which we are not happy about so please go ahead and reassign your proxy while we are getting a lot of support from community for changing the rules so once the referendum system in place we do want to pursue that uh, in terms of uh, the decay rules for proxies should be changed we believe and we had done that video earlier if you remember we had appealed to the US community and hopefully this will uh, uh, we can pursue it once the referendum system in place so good news I think overall let I want to again focus on that that we have a great applications coming we have a good ecosystem coming up and uh, we have more and more apps which are being developed on EOS which is a good sign and we sh soon should see more and more adoption of EOS so that's all from me for today I hope you enjoyed the show please press like and share the video if you did and uh, we will be back again with more EOS updates uh, once we have uh, other things to talk to you about that. So thank you once again. Bye.